the new motion direction times the new motion magnitude minus tiny float. So we should move, new motion direction should be normalized already where new motion direction is just the surface normal rotated so I mean we should I mean we can just we can just be absolutely paranoid and normalize new motion direction and if we set our position to there we are stuck We are not already stuck, so let's see. Let's see if normalizing that helps. Let's just get back into get back into it, you know. Oh wow, things are just crazy. So what iteration are we on here? Iteration zero. Wait a damn minute here. So one of the things there is I put the number of iterations. I was wondering why the iteration was always zero, and that, that doesn't make sense. Like we would have, there'd be some sort of iteration issue here. And this, as a side effect of the iteration being a plus plus inside of the conditional, the thing with conditionals is they only actually evaluate the code until they can evaluate the condition. So if you do, if iterations is less than the max iterations and dt is greater than this, it's going to evaluate the iterations plus plus first. And if that just evaluates to false because this is an and statement, it's just gonna it's just gonna early out and it's not gonna ever check if dt is greater than uh, the physics min sim time. So what's gonna happen is this dt greater than min physics time is well no it should it should do both. God damn it. This doesn't make sense though. Something's screwed up here. Something's not right. And I think it has to do with that iteration count going way too damned high. Does the continue in a do while loop not evaluate the I mean, it should evaluate the while when you say continue. Grr. Where are we? What the fuck? We are stuck already? We were stuck in our start position. What the hell? We were we were already stuck. Is this what this is saying? No, it's the um, the hit distance is three point four. The direction is negative z. The hit distance is 3.4, and we're moving a 
We're not moving as far. Maybe it's too far. Maybe physics tiny float needs to be bigger. Because we did, we did collide with something, so it's going to be. It's hit distance, and we've got the hit distance, and we set ourselves to being in that position. Is the direction the right direction? It is the direction that we used. And again, the normal should be. The normal is normalized. It's right there. Well, let's let's do a few things. Let's just um, so we'll set like a bigger tiny float for this one and see if we get stuck. Because it's obvious that we're moving too far towards this object and we get stuck into it base, basically because of floating point map again, where numbers are not precise. So we shouldn't be moving as far towards this object. We're too close! We're too close to it. So I thought we'd have a little bit more precision than 0.01f. But maybe we don't. Maybe we just don't have the precision for that in the physics engine. We'll see. Because we do the sweep and it, it returns a hit at that location so we'd sweep a little bit less and then then we get screwed by our move. I mean I guess the other thing is we could move out by the impact normal as well. So we'd have like a little outward nudge on uh, the object and then like basically we do like we try to set ourselves to here and then we try to outward nudge and and if we did an outward nudge successfully, then we set ourselves back. We will see, though, won't we? Won't we? I would explain a few things. So I'm not sure why our guys are freaking out and flying all the way to hell over everything. So again, we are stuck before we've even moved.
All right, well, let's just do like a check if stuck in the first position um, and start boss because we're already freaking stuck before we even, when we get here, then we have a, a problem somewhere else. We were stuck to begin with. No wonder we're still stuck. Yeah, let's unstuck him. That's that's what we're doing right now. This part of the stream brought to you by Monster Red because that's what comes in the Costco multi pack for monsters. You get red, blue, and white, and if it was up to me, there'd be no freaking red in that damn thing because the red sucks. But it's caffeine, so I paid for it. I'll drink it. Crap. I forgot to check if stuck first. Wow, okay, so we are. Our hit distance was 0.2. And so it's the direction. New position equals start position plus direction. So the start position was not colliding. So do we need just a bigger float here? Just to... I mean, 0.5 is a pretty big float for our precision with our collisions to be not correct. Which has usually meant with um, these things that we're already stuck inside of an object when we do our sweep test, but that overlap test at start position says otherwise. Yeah, caffeine is not cheap. It's cheaper at Costco, though. So... Let's see, again, we were not stuck in our original position. The hit distance is four point. What's the normal? The normal is Y and Z. So it's up a little bit and over to the right, so it's like chunk. Which is correct, so... I am really confused.
Well, I mean, maybe it's because we got a little bit of an X on us. Dirt.x equals zero. Uh, let's do another thing where we're setting our x to zero. Well, we'll see if the X, if the X was messing something up. We'll eventually get it. So our starting position is proper. Right, so what is our new position? Is our start position. So it looks like we move to the left with um, our vector. So what is our direction vector? How in the hell did we move to the left? So, all right, let me let me think this through. It's negative one six eight six five for the new position, and the start position was one six eight six six in the y, and direction is supposed to be positive in the y-axis. So, hit distance minus tiny float like moved us to the left somehow how in the hell did it move us to the left or am I or yeah it's it we we're actually moving to the right it's it's a less negative negative number so that is to the right so that is correct and the Z is negative so we should have moved up and we did move up um, and to the right, which is exactly what should have happened, and we are stuck.
What's our impact normal? Our impact normal was that. So maybe we should nudge ourselves out and do this sort of move. Because we would move ourselves out of this object if we did that. And we're probably impacting because we moved down. So I think what we probably have to do is nudge ourselves out, see if we overlap, and then do the move. Kind of hacky, but I just don't see how the math works out any other way. Like we're moving a smaller distance than it said we hit with our ray cast, so you know, and that's supposed to be the closest hit, and it's the only hit. The trace end was at 86.5. The trace start was there, so the distance. One, six, eight, six, five, eight. Versus our in position, which is one six eight six one six eight six five point six two. So we got point six two three on our new position, and the the hit says that the end was at point six. It was at 865.8. So it's the same thing there, but it's at 81. So the question is, it actually said that we, we moved farther to the right than the spot. We have actually moved farther than our distance? Like our distance was 3.4. So is the trace start and trace end giving me the distances for the vectors? doesn't look like it because trace start and trace end like that's a lot farther than distance is supposedly true. Um, it's supposed to be trace start to impact point in world space. And trace start was... eight seven one. Well, trace start to impact point
I mean, is this distance just freaking garbage? Is that what's going on here? Because why is trace start not the start position? Like, trace start is negative one, six, eight, seven, one. And that is farther to the left than our actual object. Should we be calculating our own distances for all these collisions? Is that what's really going on here? And all these fudges and all these little things are just covering up the fact that our math is just frickin' wrong. Because the straight trace start is negative that and uh, 2260.6 impact point is negative 16945 and our and then 2233 they're saying the distance from trace start to impact point in world space And very obviously that is not true, um, that their, their distance is, this documentation is wrong, and it's not from trace start to impact point. And it just absolutely is not, because if it was, this would be a vector magnitude of 3.4, and it's very clearly not a magnitude 3 vector. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fucking magnitude like, you know. 70. <laughs> what, 74 times 74? By 4 is 6 plus 27 times 27, 729, and we're going to take. Yeah, it's a magnitude 78 vector, which is total shit. And then like trace end is a different vector as well. Wrong set. Not sure what you mean by that, Karakan wrong set. Yeah, 
The impact normal is at least correct. The trace start is farther to the left of our actual starting position. Then our new position has moved to the right, but it's hitting. And we moved. Let's actually just do like float um, move distance. And it's basically if move distance is greater than zero, then it's going to be dir times move distance. What were you saying? I was. I don't think I was off. I think I've got I've got it all written down. Wait, now I can't get it to happen. Alright, there it is. The movement direction should be negative, and the Z, and everything like that. Oh, yeah. It could be a mistake on there, but I, I'm pretty sure I did not do that. And if it was off by an order of magnitude, I think... We have other problems. Again, the hit distance is three. Should we just do like a uh, calculate our own distance here? Let's take the location of impact minus our actual and just do that. Float sanity check distance is zero. Sanity check distance is going to be uh, the blocking hit dot impact. It's going to be the location and it's going to be start position minus the location um, dot size. Sanity check distance equals that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to say like the move distance is our sanity check distance. <laughs> Minus that. Well, we don't really want that. Um, we just want hit distance because we don't want to actually change something real quick. 
um, we are going to want to print out both. So info log. Our distances are. Hit distance and sanity check distance. Here we go. Our actual move distance is 3.8. Our sanity check distance is 31. How is this possible? So sanity check di distance is totally wrong, or actual move distance. So something's frickin' lying to us here with our directions and all of these things are just wrong. Not giving us back the actual numbers. Well, what can we actually do about this? I mean, the only thing I can possibly think of is that somehow Like our direction vector is wrong and we're moving the wrong way for, for what we're doing. Like it's the only thing that makes sense to me.
or our start positions are screwed up or something like that. Hmm. Well, why don't we do something like like this? So we've got a we've got a surface normal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say like f vector. Let's just do a uh, outward nudge. Our nudge position is gonna be start position plus. Our outward nudges are like 0.1 and stuff like that. So let's do like our our ground jump nudge and push us out by that much. And we'll just do like surface normal dot x is zero and then surface normal dot normalize and all that crap. So this will move us out of the object by the service normal and we'll do like what we should do is also write another check if stuck method that takes a location and we'll just do like check if stuck and you pass in const f vector pause and it just does that crap for us So if check if stuck outward nudge position equals false, then we're gonna set our position to that position. Then basically um, we're gonna do start position equals the outward nudge position. So it'll nudge us outwards. And let's see if this actually pushes us out far enough that when we do our sweep that we're not actually getting screwed by it. Um, we could do another sweep based on the outward nudge position to see if we hit anything in our direction of travel. Which we probably should. Well, it's we're back to back to where we belong with movement code, which is we're stuck in vector math hell. Not really doing not doing the whole hell of a lot. But it's a necessary hell. And we're gonna stay here until we can sort it out.
I'll throw this over on screen in just a second to show you what I'm actually testing against. But basically, it's one of these. Well, it's not just vector math hell. It's also vector math hell where the math is lying to us, where we can't just set things equal to mathematical perfect positions because floating point values are not exact. So when you set something somewhere, you're not actually setting it to the exact spot that you want. So you're like, oh, here's the collision thing. And it's like, yeah, well, this is all kind of fake. It's all... We're not really sure where this is. It's just we have like an idea, so So basically what was happening is we're getting stuck on this corner at the very edge when we jumped off. And well it's no longer happening with that outward nudge. Which is kind of what we were expecting. And this is a this is a separate one. This is not the same. This is we are stuck after getting set here. So like we didn't hit anything with our sweep and then we moved ourselves to like start position plus direction and direction right here is the correct direction and we're stuck. And it's like what the frick? So it, it's it's basically like the distance that is coming out, this hit distance or blocking hit distance is, it's just not, it's not coming out proper or, like this just doesn't hit anything and it's raycast. But then when we collided, we collided with something. So we don't even have a we don't even have a normal at this spot to nudge ourselves up and out of something. So it looks like our sweep tests really aren't very precise for if we're moving or around on something so maybe we should be like what's our velocity Well, should we do something here like nudge maybe our test position a little bit in a direction or... Because if this is just going to lie to us... Maybe we need to just cast straight down, see if we're going to hit anything there. And um, if we are, then move ourselves up or something else. No. Is there a transform that we could use that would help us out? Like, let's say if we went into 
our physics utils and is there a way to inflate our geometry maybe? We're doing sweep component Esther. Like we got the rotation of our thing. No, it doesn't look like there's a way to Let's walk into it and see if there's a way we can get it to inflate our geometry just a little bit somehow. Just we need it to be bigger. I don't think we can do it. But if we could basically just like pump fat sack up by like you know a tenth of a percent and then move them, then you know we'd get rid of a lot of this crap. I don't see anything like that. So no, we don't have that option. Well, at least the check if stuck is returning that we're actually stuck in something, which is helpful. Let's see if maybe we just need like a bigger, bigger tiny float in here just to um, extend the ray so we'll look a little bit past ourselves. Well, when we're not getting stuck, I'm pretty happy with how our movement is actually working. So, I mean, it's not a... We're getting there. It's not like we're just throwing a whole bunch of time into the into nowhere. We're throwing a whole bunch of time into nowhere for a reason. See if we can make Fat Sack go a little bit slower. Because it's not happening anymore, and the only reason that it's not happening is the outward nudge, and then we extended the ray a little bit. So 
So let's see if it's a precision issue and we should be able to magnify any issues by going to fat sack and making him just move slower. So one in velocity. We're gonna we're gonna make him move like like total total crap. We're just gonna make him move less than a third of his normal speed here. And he's also a real tiny, tiny critter, so you know if he's gonna have problems moving on stuff. A bigger creature like Bitey is gonna have no no problems. So that's that's kind of what we're doing is we're we're really messing with stuff because let's say we finish this movement code and it still has a little few bugs and snags and stupid little things like you, uh, we could just not put that geometry in the level, you know, and just be like, well, don't do that, you know. <laughs> Crap. I gotta find out where the hell everything is because I can't see where the frick I am. Ah, that sacks too fast. What 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 even happened here? Yeah, I set it to I set him <laughs> I set him twice as fast as he was going. Whoops whoops, that's not what we wanted. I'm smart person. I'm a smart person, right? No. The survey, the survey says that is indeed not correct. Yeah, exactly. That's why we're using a little, little box, little box for this 